Okay, so before I start hammering out lots of uh, carrier ops on my um, day off, uh, we're gonna, oh crap, this isn't gonna record what I need it to record. Oh, it, might, it might do. I'm hoping that it's gonna record um, the uh, Steam full screen. But uh, this is the options that I've got here for uh, VR. Because we've since had an update, which is going to increase performance. I have flown this after the update, but we're going to see how it performs with the Steam window open. I hope I'm recording the Steam window. Otherwise, it's going to come up with the two um, thingamajigs, the left eye and the right eye, which is not the best. Let's just pick somewhere, Australia. Should we fly in? Nah, let's pick somewhere up. I don't normally go, where is this, Russia? I hope this is all like icy and wintry. Do we really wanna fly this? I don't know what the weather's like. Does it tell you here? Yeah. All right, but let's just, let's go into aircraft. Let's, no failures. Uh, weight and balance. All the fuel. I wonder if that circles the range. Okay, so after a massive update, uh, we'll see how this functions while I try and record the Steam window. Now, I've got problems with Microsoft Flight Simulator in the fact that when I switch to VR, I'm given depth perception, but it's still in a cinema mode. But I have to switch the VR on, switch it off, and then go back into VR in order to get the full surround visual, if that's the, that's the best way to put it. Otherwise, it's in a... just my my normal vision and a bit of my peripheral vision if i turn my head i end up going into the black so i've got to switch it off switch it back on um, i have to have my headset on otherwise it won't go into vr which can be a bit of a pain uh, so the way i solve that is i put my thumb over the little sensor because uh, moving from, you know, flat screen to VR and, and whatnot and pressing buttons and doing all that kind of stuff is a bit awkward. It would be nice, though, uh, if there was an option in... The ground's very close there. In Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, to be able to uh, display one eye instead of both eyes. It's running a little sloppy on my side, but I've got a feeling that's because the Steam window is open and full screen. It does run a little smoother with, um, well, what's going on here? It does run a little bit smoother with just the two eyeballs, left and right. But this, this does run quite smooth right now. I've never flown here before. So this is all pre, either pre-downloaded or streamed. Uh, my internet connection's definitely not fast. And I'm on wireless. So uh, through quite a few walls, actually. So it's not doing too bad, to be honest. Not doing too bad. Definitely running a lot smoother. DCS is, is smoother than this. DCS, I think they've done a great job at optimizing everything. Just trying to get my trim right here. Clearly I'm not trained how to do this properly. That's a bit better. Okay, so it's running kind of smooth. Pretty place. I like it. in here but this yeah it definitely is running smoother especially if I'm recording the steam window which 
in the past, uh, trying to record this, the Steam window to make it full screen and running this also in the background uh, did give it a hard time. So this certainly seems optimised. Uh, it's still a little bit choppy. It's not hugely smooth. Uh, I reckon I'm running, I don't know, just to take a stab, maybe around 25 frames per second, somewhere around 25 I reckon. And the only reason I could take a stab at that is it reminds me of the old Armour 2. You remember when Armour 2 couldn't be optimised no matter what you did? <laughs> and you could always only get a max of like 30 frames because the thing was capped. I think the max I ever got was 32 frames and even to this day running the machine that I've got now, it will only ever run at 32 frames. Uh, just because of the limitations of the engine, the way the engine was built, really. Um, but still, you know, not bagging it. I love Dharma too. That was brilliant. Um, so, uh, between running carrier ops and smashing out as as many quick little DCS tutorial videos as I can, uh, I've got this, and I've got Elite Dangerous. I haven't played Elite Dangerous for a while because I've I've been on a bender for for. Sims, uh, realistic flying, and um, I think the squad wants to get back together for Battlefield 2042 or whatever it was. Do you remember when they made the old? This is the, not the first time they've made a futuristic battlefield. You remember the very short lived 2042 that was out before? I don't know whether you can remember it or not. Uh, people my age might remember it, but we, we gave it a go. And, uh, uh, I don't know, we weren't huge fans. Um, but we did, however, get on, I think it was Battlefield 3. I think Battlefield 3 was our jam for a while. But uh, our best player's coming out of retirement. And by retirement, I mean he's not playing console anymore. He's actually purchased a, a PC, so we're going to be on Battlefield on PC. So... You might get a review, maybe. I don't often review those kinds of games. I wouldn't consider myself a game critic or a... I would obviously consider myself a connoisseur, but not a game critic. I don't, I don't smash things. And I, I guess that's the reason why people like game critics, to be honest. I, you know, I like Microsoft Flight Simulator because it gets me rambling, you know? It's just nice to fly around and talk crap. Um, but yeah, I'm not the kind of person, we got a bit, a bit of weird stuff going on with the shadows there, but that's alright, I'm not fussed. Uh, see, that's the kind of person I am. A game critic will go, this game is poopy, look at the shadow, they can't even get that right. Uh, that's my um, Game Grumps impersonation of, <laughs> of uh, when he does game critics. And I think it's pretty fair, and I'm not really bagging. It's their job to be very picky and finicky so that people know what they're getting into. But me, I'm just a casual dude. Like, if the game's fun, most of the time I'll, I'll really like it. And I've started over the years, I reckon the graphics are great these days. And especially in games like this, it's good because you can use it for like navigation purposes and stuff. People who would have tried to, to fly navigation and stuff in X-Plane or whatever will know what I mean. Um, you know, visual references and stuff like that and kind of understanding where you are is, is pretty good for uh, VFR and things like that. But, um, yeah, other games, I don't mind as long as the game is fun. Or art styles as well, you know, when they do a particular art style, if it fits with the game, uh, then there's nothing wrong with that. So I wouldn't call myself a critic. I'm not really <clears throat> that kind of person. But... You know, maybe maybe I'll do a Battlefield 2042. Uh, I don't know. Because I mean, the new the new Call of Duty felt like a return to the original Call of Duty, which I think after Modern Warfare 2, I stopped playing because it started not becoming gimmicky, but it just it didn't feel the same. So I stopped playing. I went on a decade-long hiatus or maybe 15 years of, of playing Call of Duties and then I got into the new one um, we played that a bit although I'm not 
I don't, I don't smash games apart from the flight simulators. That's the problem. Free time I get, if I've got free time, I'll be doing this. I'll be flying. Which I think is ridiculous, because chances are I'm never going to get a pilot's license. <laughs> you know, I really would like to, but chances are is it'll never happen. Um, but yeah, it's a... Uh, you know, for someone with a lot of free time, I don't have much free time. And the free time I have, uh, I'm trying to learn modules on DCS and, and, you know, playing with that and having fun. Trying to do carry landings and things. I did um, some, you know me, I don't do high budget production value YouTube videos. I'm, I'm just one dude. I, you know, I, I appreciate the views and I really enjoy the likes. Um, but I'm also kind of like, ah, eh, people don't really want to watch me. I'm, I'm kind of making YouTube videos because I just enjoy making the videos, really. And if there's any way I can help people, it, it would be good, especially with DCS, because I like encouraging people that, you know, it, it's difficult because I want to get young people interested in aviation because it's really fun, I guess, you know, I've said it a million times, I want to encourage them, but it's also a very expensive hobby uh, to get into flight simulation, and also even real flight, very expensive, but, um, am I going over a DME? But, um, it, yeah, I would be, but it's, um, you know, something like, I, I wouldn't say I'm, well, I did miss out on it. It wasn't until later when I got older and I went, you know what, I could have actually done this. You know, a lack of self-confidence and a lack of drive. Um, you know, I wanted to be a rock star around that time. So, we, you know, we were in a metal band. <laughs> that kind of thing, you know, just being teenagers. Uh, and then I got married and had kids. I don't even know if it's, uh, um, yeah, anyway, but yeah, I don't know, you don't want to hear about me, I guess I'm just trying to give you a bit of background while I, because I like Microsoft Flight Simulator, it just, it really gets me talking, I don't know why, something very relaxing and very opening up of, of the heart and soul when you just, you know, going for a bit of a flight. It is quite nice. It is quite nice. Um, yeah, so I did some old... <laughs> to get back to what I was talking to. I love rambling and just jumping topics. Because I'm not, you know, a high budget production value or whatever. I tried my luck at showing some old games. Uh, I've only got like two episodes of like Rabbit's Classic Games. Even though there's so many more games that I would consider a classic. That classic in my opinion, whereas they're n nostalgic they were good fun that kind of thing but I only got a few views um, you know and I don't mind uh, I'm, I'm not doing it to become viral or anything I don't expect to make money it's just good fun you know and it, it's good to be part of a community even though I don't know you guys personally I'm sure some of the people who are subscribed to me I'm subscribed to uh, just in the DCS community and whatnot because, uh, you know, we, we share the love around. It is a really good community. Extremely helpful. Uh, and I think it's because all of us, you know, we're, we're a bit of aviation nerds. And we're like, you know, nothing feels as good as, you know, nailing a carrier <laughs> landing or, you know, bombing the, you know, hitting the entire column. Uh, of tanks or that kind of thing it's just um, you know so we help each other out and give each other advice um, really good community um, but yeah I, I appreciate all the views and everything and I don't I don't know it's not I mean it is a little bit that I'm lazy but I don't have a huge amount of time to sit down and edit it and make it really funny and uh, for some reason, uh, I've lost my sense of humour over, 
over the years. I used to be the class clown, um, but you know, I'm not now. Occasionally I'll say something really funny and really witty, but it's very rare these days. Uh, I think it's just because life, uh, you know, has, uh, has kind of humbled me a little bit, which you'd think would give you more of a sense of humour. Uh, but yeah, it, I don't know. I don't know. I'll get back there eventually. It's something I've been trying to relax with. Um, you know, I've realised, like, I, you know, why is this turning into me? But I feel like it should. Because no one wants to come to the, you know, other people's YouTube videos. And especially when I'm, you know, hey, look, this is the new update for Microsoft Flight Simulator. By the way, here's all my problems. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. Anxiety and that kind of stuff is, you know, I'm starting to realise that I have it. Possibly even ADHD. You know, undiagnosed, but it's not. You know, I don't want to be a victim. Um, I just, you know, you make your way through. You find ways to, to cope with it or, you know, whatever. It's just the way it works. All right, I'm going to come in for a landing. Um, but yeah, I guess this is kind of me apologising for I used to be, you know, a very funny, humorous person, but <laughs> life got in the way. But I'm getting there eventually, I'm getting better every year. And psych! <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it here because I'm rambling. I'm probably going to watch this back and then go, this is rubbish, I'm not going to upload this. But if I upload it, it's just, it's... I don't know why I would do that, to be honest. It's a little bit embarrassing. I don't know, I feel like sharing with you guys, even though I don't know who you are, random strangers, you know more about me than, than a lot of people already. Anyway, see you in the next one I guess.